The issue with ref URLs for WhatsApp or WhatsApp Cloud is that when a user goes towards their WhatsApp, there will always be a slash and then start with a certain pre-filled text. Some users wanted to know how you can remove that pre-filled slash and then start. And that is not doable natively, but there is a workaround. What you could do is go towards flow or just create a link. And from that link, you will have this specific format. So you will have HTTPS, WA.me, then your phone number, and then a specific pre-filled text. Once you are going with this specific pre-filled text, only that text will show up. So if we are going to do a certain number, like this one, which is an US number, plus one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, you need to fill in the number as all without the additional characters. So only the numbers themselves. So you would fill in this specific part. Then for the text, you can have any pre-filled text that you'd like to. So for example, uh, let's say for Black Friday, you have BF, right? And then this will automatically only prefill BF as the default text when the user is redirected back towards its WhatsApp account to interact with the business page. If you want to add additional characters, so multiple, multiple sentence or multiple words, you will have a quick overview here and we'll also have that in the video description where a space will be a percentage and then 20, a question mark will be a percentage 3F, an at an end sign icon will be percentage 26, and so on. This way you can customize your own prefill text accordingly. And once this prefill text has been enabled, this will basically show up as the last text input of the user. Inside the flow, inside the default reply, for example, you could go with a condition. Then from there, go with last text input. And then you could create your own pathways, your own router, as it were. So for example, if it's BF, then you can go towards this flow, a Black Friday flow. If you have a different lost text input, you can go towards that flow. And if none of the lost text inputs that you have set up are inside the condition node, you can just continue the regular default reply as is. This is a really good way to provide a link towards users where you don't have the slash start at the end or at the beginning of your pre-filled text.